Hi guys, today I am here with a very new video. Here I am discussing about the manual crew taper. We have different techniques by which we perform root canal treatments in our dentistry. The one is the conventional one in which we use the A files, H files or K files, while the other is the pro taper one. In pro taper we have two types, manual or rotary. Rotary is by means of the electric device while manual is run by the manually we use the files and negotiate the canals and do the procedures in a rotary we have a manual rotary we have different types of uh, files i have a mnemonic by which i remember such files one first file we use in uh, rotary is sx it is used for the orifice widening it is used for the orifice widening different types of files but we should know the colors by which we have to use the files they are the different uh, coloring system and the we have to use each step by step as the, each file has different length and different width right first is sx1 second is s1 third is s2 then we have f1 then we have f2 then we have f3 F represents the finishing files and S is the shaping files. First we have to do the shaping and then we use the finishing files. Right? So we have, remember this mnemonic. Oops. Why? Oops. Why? You. Red. before b r o p w n yeah o is for orange this one is orange s x it is second it is purple color then we have s2 it is w it is white color then we have f1 it is the finishing file it is of yellow color then we have f other finishing file it is of red color and then we have f3 finishing file it is of blue color okay after remembering this coloring system we use it step by step first sx then s1 s2 f1 f2 and f3 right this is the thing you need to remember okay now in the procedure first we have to do is the orifice opening right after doing the RFS opening, we will not jump directly on the SX file, no. First, we use the conventional files 8K, 10K or 15K to negotiate the canals, right? Although the system is the, of the pro taper, but we have to use these files to negotiate the canals. As they are very fine files and it's easy with these files to correctly negotiate the canals, okay? After this, we'll do the irrigation with saline, right? And U E D D A to remove the chelates and other things, smear layer and all that stuff. Remember one thing in a pro taper: have to develop the glide path. That is by continuously using the EDTA and irrigation system so that uh, our root, roots or the canals do not clog with the impurities. After doing all this, we also have to keep in mind that after using, uh, after negotiating the canal, we use the SX file. Then again, uh, uh, use the file uh, working length file. It might be 20k or of or 25k. Then s1 then again 20 whatever the word uh, working length 25k file again we use s2 again we use the 25k this is a recapitulation system we have to recapitulate so that we might not lose our working length after this if we have done the finishing file finishing of the canal tail f1 we use the gp of the f1 if we use the finishing tail f2 we'll use the gp of f2 this is all uh, about the this is all a rough view i have given you guys regarding the pro taper file if you guys want some more information do tell me and if you guys like the video do subscribe my channel thank you